Thank you to our patrons for helping make this podcast possible. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your pal, your good buddy, Kaiju Billy, Kill Bill the Rapper, the the man with the uh uh the fooly cooly tattoo. And I'm here <laughs> accompanied by my main man. My uh I'm trying to think of like a good like WWE intro for you. Yeah. Uh coming in at 380 pounds of pure muscle at a height of seven foot nine. I'm tall. What the heck? And a head with no hair. None of that weight is hair. <laughs> that's right. We got Mitch the glitch here. Oh, that's me. I'm a glitch yeah. in the system. Yeah, yeah. That's the first. Has anyone ever said Mitch the glitch to you uh, before? It sounds, I'm pretty sure. When you said it, okay. it sounded familiar in my brain. Yeah. So I yeah. feel like I've heard it. Yeah, whatever you do, don't go by that as an alias ever, I feel like. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that's not the one, you know? Maybe if but... I was, like, making, like, uh, the history of the Super Nintendo type videos, that might work. Yeah. But I, <laughs> yeah, I don't, sure. <laughs> I don't hey, think... It, it's never too late for you to pivot. Yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you might have noticed Rav is not here with us today. Yet again. Okay? And listen... He's been moving a lot. He's finally in Minneapolis. Woo. He is, which is a big deal, okay? Because it took him forever to get there, and he's finally there. Yeah. Okay? He is, a, he's applied for an apartment there. He's getting all of his ducks in a row. However, he couldn't make it today, and he said that we could talk shit about him. I hope it's been a minute since we started. I hope it has, because now I'm going to say the shit word, okay? Oh, my. I can't believe it. Okay? We're at two minutes. We okay. can talk shit. Okay, perfect. We could talk shit about this fucking asshole. Okay? He's not here. Left us high and dry to go, oh, I want to be in Minneapolis. Oh, I need an apartment. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I need shelter and home and yeah, a source yeah. of water and food. Grow Oak? up. Yeah, grow up. Come on. Christ. Christ, dude. But yeah, yeah. So it's just going to be a, a, a Bill and Mitch episode, which I actually, I like our dynamic. It's nice. I, I like doing these episodes. I think it's fun. I like doing it too. It gives yeah. me an excuse to kind of yap a bit more. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You're good at yapping. You're Thank you're you. pretty, you're pretty swell with the, with the yapperinos as they Thank say. Thank you. I've been, I've been called a yapper a few times, so mm, it's validating. Mm. Mm, yeah, I'm sure that feels good. Uh, mm -hmm. What's going on with you, Mitch? Tell me what's going on in, in the life of Mitch right now. You know, <laughs> learning how to code. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's been fun. It's been cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much like that plus, you know, working on some music, mm -hmm. doing this stuff, you know, just I'm, I've been keeping really busy. You know, I know yeah. you've been streaming a lot, and I played a little bit of Elden Ring for the first... I, that was, like, my first time gaming in, like, a long time. Hell um, yeah, brother. You're really, doing the guts build? I'm doing the guts build, and I followed a tutorial on how to make my guy look like guts. <laughs> it looked like him when you said it to me. It straight up does look like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool. Yeah. Um. So... That's sick. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. Yeah, I've been playing a fair amount of Elden Ring as well. For Okay, for context, for people who don't haven't seen me stream Elden Ring... Um, I'm not a souls guy. Okay. I, uh, or at least I wasn't, I played dark souls three on, on TV chubby. Like when we were doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that I remember was, editing that. Oh yeah. That was a lot. That was a and lot it was of also, episodes too. Yeah. Well, the one thing is, is that Rav is very much a souls guy. Yeah. You know, he loves, Big he's, time. he's a huge souls fan and I get it. Like I got the idea of it. it to me, it felt kind of similar to like akin to like learning a fighting game. And it's like, for me, I've been playing fighting games for so long, but a lot of people who don't play fighting games will be like, Oh cool. Like I want to play this, this, this fighting game. And then they play it and then it sucks. So, like they're like, they're bad at it. And they're like, they're just getting their ass beat over and over and over again. And they're like, fuck this. I don't want to play it anymore. And yeah, they're just like, Oh, I'm not a fighting game guy. But if they sat down and like no life did, they probably would be fighting game people. But a lot of people don't want to, that's how I feel about with souls or at least how I felt about it. Like I was like, okay, this is just stressful the whole time. I'm scared. I, I'm feeling a real fear that feels personal here that I'm, uh, my heart is beating 
faster than normal. I'm getting palpitations. I could fall yeah. over at any moment. Yeah. So I just randomly was like, I bought Elden Ring when it came out because it was like hyped up. And I was like, okay, well, this will be different. And I played it and I died a kajillion times. I was like, okay, yeah, fuck this game. And then recently I was just like, hey, I've got it. I might as well give it a go. And I am like so locked in. Yeah. I have like already, like I've been playing it for like two weeks and I have like 35 hours or something. Oh, wow. That's awesome. (laughs) Yeah. So I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a, um, what, astrologer build and, um, that's just been cool. I, I like that. I want to go and do like a guts build, like a big sword fella. Yeah. But but I feel like I've been just doing the thing where I'm casting a lot. I'm doing this. I'm going like that a lot and shit. And uh, so it's been cool. But it's pretty much my whole life has been tour promo stuff, merch for the tour, and Elden Ring. That has been, yeah. there's been no like, <laughs> m- like moderation of anything. It's like everything at once and those three things and that's it. So that's been, but I have been doing some cool stuff. I actually announced something kind of cool today. I've been uh, working on, or I am working on a, um, like a free mixtape B sides thing that I'm not going to put on streaming or anything. That's all inspired by the old, like, music from the old tsunami and adult swim bumps from like the late nineties to the late two thousands around that era. Like, you know, a lot of people's like formative years for that type of shit. And I released a little snippet today from one of those joints. I I wrapped over a DDD, like De Pompidou, like a house joint from, yeah. Uh, like a sailor moon promo I found. (laughs) And I just loved the song. And I was like, super duper, like, Oh shit, I'm gonna just rap on this, (laughs) you know, like they they came it came out in like 94. Like, I don't know how to like get that cleared. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll just put it out for free. Yeah. For you know? sure. And so I, uh, I've been doing that and I don't have a name for it yet or anything. And it's kind of tentative. I'm just going to be working on it in the background. Like while I do other shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, already like I posted it and it's like a lot of people are like, holy shit, this is going to be sick. I'm really excited to see the excitement coming from that. Yeah. So I mean, it sounds yeah. sick. I was listening to it earlier when you posted it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, um, it was really fun. I've I've got a few other. I wrapped over like a um, Flylo beat that they used. Uh, I can't remember the name of the beat, but it was one they used in one of the old Adult Swim bumps. And it's like a classic one that I just like grabbed it off YouTube. It was like fuck it. I'll just write to this. It'll be fun. I've never like released something of me rapping over a Flying Lotus beat. Yeah. Uh, which is crazy because I listen to so much fucking Flying Lotus. Uh, so I thought that shit would be cool. Um, so I've been working on that and kind of like putting it out for free, like just for fun. I want to do something just for fun because it feels like a lot of my life is like, I feel like I don't like, not to say I don't make music for fun anymore. I definitely do, but it is like my job. Um, and I worry about stuff constantly and it's like all like, I want to make something like with absolutely no restrictions on like sample stuff, no restrictions on like, uh, um, like, is this on brand or whatever? I just want to like make some shit and just put it out into the world. And that's got me feeling very excited. And it reminds, it reminds me a lot of like when I first started making music and I was like, yeah, I had, dude, I had like this crate after a stream, I streamed until like 3 a.m., yeah. And I had this crazy like epiphany. Like I, when I was making that joint, I like cried. Mm. Like I was like, "Oh, this is like this feeling is so good." Yeah, that's awesome, so, man. Yeah, it was fun. It that's was fun. super sick. What uh, what type of music have you been working on? Um, mostly kind of like I typically kind of lean towards a more like kind of dustier sample ish kind of sound. Mm. But I've been really ca- trying to like kind of branch out a bit more. So I've been doing a lot of like less kind of sample focused stuff, but you know, still trying to make it sound like it is sampled. Yeah, yeah, that's like, the trick. That that's the trick to it. Try and make it, it you're not sampled beats sound sampled. Um that's yeah, a, just that kind of thing. That's a really good have you ever gotten this before? Like I've had this happen one time where I've made drums and I like compress them on the same bus as like a sample. And it's so where it almost sounded like it was like I Part just looped the thing. Yeah. 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 And then someone I saw someone like not complain, I guess complaining a little bit. They were just like, oh, man, I would like this more if it wasn't just a loop. 
And I was like, yes, <laughs> no, yes. <Nice. laughs> like, <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, it's like when like a bodybuilder gets accused of being on steroids when they're natty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm natty as fuck. <laughs> like, Let's yeah. go. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah I, I, I did. I did one one of the beats that I did for that uh, the snow globe theory besides stuff that I posted on the Patreon. Uh, I actually like made a song using like instrument patches that I found, exported it, and then sampled it as if it was a yeah, sample. That's cool. And, and then everybody like when I play that beat, they're like, "Oh man, what's the sample?" And I'm like, "There isn't one. There is no sample. That's where they get you, <laughs> dude." You know oh, what's funny? God. I was looking like when I look through the comments for time tested, a lot of mm. people are like, "What's the sample?" Which I feel like it's like a pretty obvious uh, what it is if you like kind of know where it's from. Mm. But like, right. I'm not gonna say here or at all. But it's <laughs> some people are like, "This is a Super Mario sample," and I'm like, "Where do you hear that?" <laughs> Low key, I could kind of see it though. Kind of, like in a way, like that. It sounds yeah. like some shit. Like you know what it sounds like to me. Like you know that genre of music that kind of exists on YouTube, where all it is is just like covers of songs that are like Nintendo songs. Yeah, like it sounds kind of like maybe someone you like sampled a cover of a Nintendo song or something. It does kind of you know sound I mean? like that, I guess. Yeah, but, it, but it is so like far removed, especially with the I think the lyrics really the way that he rapped on that makes it feel so far removed from that, that it's like, yeah, yeah maybe if it was by itself, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that's a fucking banger of a beat, though. I thank love that you. Beat. It's uh, yeah. my most popular one. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel um, when Rav? Like, have you been at a show where, like, Rav does that show, that song live? Oh, yeah. It's kind of, it feels surreal. It's weird. Because I'm like, this is a beat I produce, and it's, like, being blasted out. And everyone's like, yeah. this is, like, one of my favorite songs. And I'm like, what the heck? This is yeah. weird. <laughs> it's so crazy. I saw a, a similar thing happen when we were on the first tour, on the Out of the Woods tour. Uh, I think Patsu came out to mm. one of the shows. Yeah. And so I'm chilling with them. We're just, like, hanging out and shit. And we're, we sneak in. Because, like, when you're in the green room, you can't really, like, hear anything. And we, like, snuck around the back yeah. and are, like, of, of the crowd and are watching, <laughs> trying to just, like, be incognito mode. You yeah. know what I mean? And, like, right when we got out there, Rav started playing B. And I looked over at Patsu, and I was like, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You know? And then Patsu was, like, locked in. <laughs> and then I'm sitting there, and he was just like, he was just like, yeah, like. I've never heard someone rap over one of my beats at a show before, which is crazy to me because yeah. like he produced for like XXX and Tassion, like he's produced for like a bunch of really cool people, but like that being, and I'm like looking at it happen. I was like, Whoa, like that, yeah. that would be like a crazy feeling. It would be for you real. Know? Yeah. It's a thing. I don't know. Um, I feel like I've heard people rap over my music. Like I produce for people and I've heard them at a show do it, but I don't know what, like oh, other yeah. than the stuff like Rav's done and stuff like that, you know, but that feels different. It feels like any of this stuff we do together is like almost like its own thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, it's like tangentially linked to me, you know? So it feels yeah. like it's not watching someone else do it, you know? Yeah. Speaking of music that Rav has done, he worked on our intro song. You're now mm -hmm. tuning in to Void FM.
That was really good, dude. <laughs> a little, uh, a little segue for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you learn that at fucking Segway College, dude? Because yeah. that was like text. That was case book, if you know what I'm saying. First That's thing a- they teach you at Segway College: stay away from cliffs. Mm. Like this video mm. if you got that reference, everybody. <laughs> everybody, give him a hand. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold your applause. One more time, bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay. Woo! Did you get that reference, Bill? Yeah, I got the reference because okay. segways, if they get near a cliff, it's like you can't, it's hard to turn away and you can fall off. You can oh, fall off okay. Cliff. So this is like everyone's favorite. Uh, it's like one of those facts people bring up where it's like, oh, you have a fun fact about something. Um, uh-huh. The inventor of the segway died falling off a cliff trying to show how quickly you could stop on a segway. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is so funny. It's crazy. I have a useless fact that is completely unrelated, but earlier I was talking with my manager, Allie, and she brought up Childish Gambino, mm-hmm. and then I wanted to say this thing, and I didn't get a chance to say it. So, like, did you know that Childish Gambino's producer, I think he goes by Ludwig, or L- Ludwig, I think he says yeah. Ludwig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that guy, did you know that he also was the like executive producer for Creed? <laughs> really? Isn't that the weirdest shit in the world? That's so random. What a weird like the music yeah. is so different too. It is different and it's like so forward thinking. That like a lot of the even the stuff that was on like because of the internet, like some of those beats were like really like out there, yeah. you know? And uh, it's just funny to think about, like, that's the same guy who was involved. Like, he was in the studio for, here you take me here. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. We were singing that song, like, yesterday. Yeah, I sing that song quite a lot. Mm-hmm. I, uh, uh, you know, I'm a fan. What can I say? Somebody invited me to a Creed show the Did other day. No. Oh. I should have, <laughs> but it was like, like I would have definitely went, like it would have been fun, yeah. you know, but, uh, it was like three hours away. Okay. And Not like, a time uh, commitment I'd be willing to make for Creed either. I think, <laughs> I think the longest I've ever driven, how was the longest I've ever driven for a show? Like seven hours, so, really? no, seven or eight. Yeah. Like for, for someone else's show, for my own show, I've driven much longer than that. But, yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, tour related. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I saw um the longest I ever drove for a show was I saw Ghost Main in like 2017 or something like that. I saw him in North Carolina, but it was like pretty far away. Yeah. It was far away enough that we stayed at a hotel, me and my friend stayed at a hotel and we were like super broke. This is when I was working at Ruby Tuesday. Yeah. And he also worked there. We drove all the way there and uh we just got the cheapest hotel we could find. Yeah. And we op- we opened the door <laughs> and there was like a big red stain on the carpet as soon as you walk in. It smelled like cigarettes, even nice. though there was a no smoking sign in oh, front yeah. of it. Every time. Uh like I don't know how we didn't get bed bugs. Um yeah. it was that type of place for sure. Uh it was really gross. It was the <laughs> grossest place. Like yeah. and he was on acid too. Like he took acid okay. and he didn't tell me like he like just took acid. And then he was like, like as we're chilling, like he just goes like, like this. Okay. And showed off, show off. He had a, uh, what you might call it. Um, a tab? he had, yeah, a tab on him. I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got it right. Oh, let's yeah. go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh, so he's like tripping in this fucking terrible place. He kept being like, let's walk outside. I was just like, <laughs> maybe not. It was like we kept hearing like screams. What? Yeah, it was a lot. That's a lot, bro. What the heck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, that's like par for the course when you stay at a place like that sometimes. Like you yeah. just hear some crazy shit going yeah, down. I've, you know? I've stayed at some pretty gnarly spots too. Mm-hmm. Just to save mm-hmm. money, you know. Saving money was yeah. like my whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah with, of course. I'll put up yeah. with a lot. <laughs> I feel like I used to be like that until I started touring. And then yeah. I'm like, fuck it, dude. I will pay the extra to not feel mm-hmm. disgusting. Yeah. It's we, worth it. Yeah, it is. Because like we stayed in a slightly nicer hotel when we were in Minneapolis. Mm. And it's just like, it felt weird being in like a nice spot 
after going to so many just like the grossest hotels you've ever seen. Yeah, it's nice though. I mean, um, I like the only thing though is it's hard to justify a little bit yeah. in a way. Like if you're doing it for like work and it's like a write off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Duh. But if you're just like traveling just to travel, sometimes it's hard to justify because it's like, okay, if you stay at like a nice Airbnb, there's like a charm to it. That's like, oh, there's like a memory that could be made here. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, or even just like an acceptable one. It's just like, oh, you know, but a hotel is kind of a fucking hotel. Yeah. Like no matter what, there is like this weird sterile, like, okay, yeah, yeah we're at a hotel, sure. you know? Um, so part of it is like, I'm never the dude who's like, oh, let's go to a, a nice hotel type thing. You know yeah. what I mean? But, um, uh, but I will go to like a holiday inn. Yeah. Versus yeah, like a, a shitty inn. motel. Yeah. 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 So it depends too. Cause like sometimes the difference can be like, if you're in like Minneapolis, it, it seems like the hotels there were like pretty affordable compared to other cities. Yeah. So like if the difference is like you pay $90 to like $110, we pick the $110 one, you know, for sure. For the nicer Absolutely. One. But yeah, we've stayed in like hotels where it's like you go in there and it's very obvious that the, the swing, the door lock, the whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. It's like been kicked out before, and you're like, okay, <laughs> this is. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this there's makes a, me feel good. Yeah, there's a like thought sometimes where I'm just like, how many women were were, were murdered here? Yeah, you know, that's yeah. kind of the like. I think the that's the, what you get. You get what you pay for in the like women murdered here department. Sometimes, <laughs> you know. Yeah, so. some of them are pretty rough, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. That was probably the worst hotel I've ever stayed at. I have stayed at like a bad Airbnb one time. Yeah. A few times. But yeah. I know when you were like in that trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. We told uh, you about the cockroach Airbnb, right? On on Rab's tour? You mentioned it, but I don't remember the whole deal. I can. Okay, so we picked this because there's like, what, like eight of us, right? Mm. Maybe seven. Um. We picked this one that said it had like 11 beds and we're like, that's weird. That feels like an overestimation. Yeah. But we'll, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it has like less than 11, we'll probably be fine. We get there um, and we, <laughs> we walk in and it seems all right. But then we go through and we realize there wasn't 11 beds. There wasn't even five beds. There was two beds. <laughs> okay. And that's a bit of a. It's a bit of like. Yeah, you just say there's 11 beds. You're counting what? Like a chair as a bed. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. we quickly realize that not only that, that there's not enough beds, but also that there are cockroaches everywhere. Mm. Like you walk in, there's a cockroach in the kitchen. They were all over like the stove and in the oven. <sighs> and they're all in the... I, I went to the bathroom over there. I closed the door. There's a bunch behind the door. <laughs> they were everywhere that's rough dude and then yeah so we ended up getting a refund i think we and the person rab was like messaging the person and the person was messaging like come on man this is my first day open come on cut me some slack <laughs> cut me some slack oh yeah. my god and you can dude. tell he had never like been there he just like hired people to come because there were instructions for how to like put the couch and the beds and stuff together they just left them sitting on the floor mm, yeah. it, was, it was like really it was just everywhere and oh my god it was brutal dude. so we got a refund i think we just went to a hotel that night yeah i mean that's what i would do yeah i would just go to a hotel because it's already yeah, like uh, one in the morning by the time we got yeah, there. yeah i've never had anything like that i mean like like we we had some like gross ones like the first time we stayed in la you know like that whole story about like we stayed in an rv and then mm -hmm. it was like you couldn't poop in there and the guy was like <laughs> trying to show me like he was like if you do wipe your ass he's like you can poop in here but like don't flush the the toilet paper put the to throw the toilet paper away and i was just like i'd rather just not poop you know what I mean? Yeah. I think like we could, <laughs> we just went awful. to the Ralphs. Yeah. Um, and so like, that's the one thing I learned is like avoid RVs because of that yeah. specific thing. It smells like piss and poop all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, uh, there was one time where we stayed when we were doing X Oasis, we stayed at a big one that had, it was actually like not that bad of a place. Yeah. 
but I had this thing that I still don't understand what happened. Okay. So like there was like a bunch of us there. It was like eight or nine of us there. And there was, they had these big queen sized bunk beds and there was like tons of them. There was like more, there was like 14 <laughs> beds or something insane. That's crazy. You know? So I mentioned to them, which is a mistake, by the way, that we were musicians and we were on tour, right? Don't do that, by the way. If you're on <laughs> tour, don't fucking do that. Just say like, hey, uh, I'm here with my friends for a, a, a vacation, right? Yeah. Because the, it's none of their business, right? Yeah. So I say like we're on tour. And so how they had it set up, there was like one – top layer and then it went to like a basement type layer and that was like where all of the beds were right there was a bunch of upstairs but then there was a bunch of them downstairs too and so like it was like us and we invited some people over as well and so like we're and a few of these people they were like with frank right and so i didn't know them yeah but they were cool like all everyone there was cool uh but we i i noticed like they had in the um laundry machine they had like the washing machine they had a whole bunch of like clothes that were not dried and i don't know whose clothes they were i guess i don't know and so i like like we just found it when we go in there and i'm like what the fuck why are these in here and they smelled bad because they've been sitting there for like a week you know and just in water basically right molding right Yeah, and so, like, we just move all that stuff, and then, like, I go and, like, look on the bed, and the beds are, like, disheveled, and there's, like, hair on them, like, someone it's yeah, and so, like, I, like, took all of those and washed them, and I messaged the guy, I was, like, I took pictures, I was, like, hey, like, why is there, like, hair you know, and then he's like, I don't know, like my cleaning crews were they were there. And I was like, I'm thinking like, OK, the cre- the cleaning crew just didn't show up for real. Like they didn't happen. Right. Yeah. But that was kind of like whatever. Right. Like I was like, OK, we we fixed this. It's not a big deal. Right. Yeah. Uh, there was like other shit too, like a cabinet door just fell off the hinge. Like we weren't even touching it. Like it just fell. Cool. Uh, cool. And I took a picture of it and I was just like, hey. And then he was like, yeah, it does that. Don't worry about it. You can just leave it off or you can try to figure it out how to put it back on. But like, it's fixable. And I was like, okay, cool. And I'm like being very upfront about these things that are happening. Yeah. Okay. So I go downstairs and like, that's where we were recorded stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, I look and like, it's fine, right? There's nothing wrong with the, um, with the wall there's like okay i leave and i get a message and they're like hey are you sinking yes okay perfect (laughs) i get a message (laughs) sorry (laughs) sorry (laughs) i wanted to discreetly switch to standing (laughs) yeah yeah i was i was like is he okay yeah um so anyway so i get a message from airbnb that's like hey what's with the hole in the wall And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was just like, well, you guys were there and my cleaning crew was there and they said there wasn't a hole in the wall and now there's a hole in the wall. And I was like, okay, cool. There wasn't a hole in the wall when we were there. And he was like, that'll be $250. And I was just like, hey, man. I was like, hey, man. He's a grifter. I was like, I didn't do that. I was like, I could put that on my mama that I didn't do that. And I said it just like that. I was (laughs) like, by the way, there was all this other shit that was wrong that I wasn't going to report you for. But like, all this other stuff's like pretty unacceptable. But if you, know, there yeah, was something, if you yeah. charge me this, I'm reporting you. Yeah, for sure. But I told him, I was just like, I'm not paying it. Like you can charge me, but I'm not paying it. It's not happening. Right. Yeah. And then uh, he just, I, I waited it out. I never did a review. He never did a review. And then he never charged me. Yeah. Cause he probably knew that it wasn't you. He's probably trying to get some money out of you. I guess. I don't know. It was a really strange place the way it was set up. It, it would have been really cool. It like had the pot, like it had the potential to be really cool. Yeah, and it wasn't. Yeah, it just so wasn't run very what it well. It seems. Uh, yeah, it would seem that that is the case. So yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Traveling is weird though. I feel like the 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 more there's always like some shit like that that happens. Oh yeah, for sure. There's always some weird going on. You know. I can't wait to see what kind of weird thing we encounter on this. Some tour. kind of strange adventure that will happen. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Well, well, this is our first time doing a tour. Well, me and you doing a tour together. I mean, I came on Rav's tour, so I, but I don't really count that. That's a little different. I came yeah. when you were there for at like the, the end of things. Two. Yeah, uh, it'll be our first time touring for this long. We're gonna be together for over a month. Yeah, prepare for that. I guess. Yeah, 
<laughs> I'm yeah. excited. I'm 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 getting prepared. You know. Yeah, I, it's coming I'm, up I'm soon. excited. I have a bit of an anxiety around it because I always have anxiety when we do tours, and I always like just immediately go to doomsday mode of like things could go wrong. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, but I'm trying to just like enjoy it. I also know that like we got a good team of people with us, and everybody's really like honed in on yeah having a having a good time and trying to make sure everything's taken care of before yeah we all have good we all have like tour experience yes so yeah together i know that that's good yeah for sure i know that i can do a tour with all of you guys and like not want to kill you by the end of it which is (laughs) nice Yeah. yeah for sure yeah that's always good but you might want to kill me though who knows who knows we'll see we'll see (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna start doing this thing halfway through the tour where I like wake you up by slapping you in the face, <laughs> and then running away really fast, scurrying away. Yeah, giggling, <laughs> giggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like funny, so you can't like do anything about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like I'm like, like actually upset, but like I'm kind of laughing, so you can't take it seriously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have like bruises by the end of it. Yeah, but, like... it's like bad. It's like actually like <laughs> <Yeah>. bad. <laughs> I'm just abusing you as a yeah. friend. Just <laughs> <tee-hee>. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I talked about this. I want to get a tour tattoo. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I what don't do know what I'm going to get. Well, like, <clears throat> I want to get, get something, like, kind of goofy. The Roblox handsome face? The handsome Roblox face? See, I feel like that's not my bag as much as it is yours. That's <laughs> I don't think like, I'd do that. I don't think I'd do that. Honestly. Why not? That shit would be so sick. I know if you got be like funny, super small. Like, super small. I wanna Yeah, I don't know. There's like a few tattoo ideas I have that I kinda want, but I don't know like what exactly. Just locations, you know. Yeah, like what? I want something that's like kinda here on like my back, going up my oh, like, yeah. trap and then just kinda like going up my neck just a little bit. So it just kinda mm-hmm. like peeks out a little bit when I'm wearing T shirts. Yeah, I could be sick. I, I like I know that I want to get like the crescent moon here, like the barrel one from like Queen Barrel from Sailor Moon. I want to get that here. Yeah. And I want to get like a whole bunch of shit. Like I feel like as soon as I'm like on tour, I'm going to want to get a whole bunch of shit. And yeah, like just sure. like f- like just coat this arm totally. Like, I would love um, to do that. I, I want more for sure. Yeah, everybody in my life is like you should get more tattoos. And yeah. I think that I think that they're right. I just have this one, and like I just got this one. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I, I want to <laughs> get a whole bunch of I want to get a bunch of weeby shit. Yeah, for real. That's so like on brand for me. Yeah, I'm I want sure to buy that, but I want to get something really funny though, and put yeah. it like in an unassuming place where like people don't normally see it, like. I don't know where, but somewhere like yeah. just just to just like one specifically to like commemorate that I went on tour with you guys. Yeah, but not like not nothing. that's like EXO tour twenty twenty four, like anything like that. Like I want yeah. like just something that makes me go like I look at that and go like huh, remember that. Yeah, you maybe know? we'll figure something out, some kind of inside reference. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Like, you get I a, get a matching one with you if you do that. Would you? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get a Peter Griffin face. <laughs> That's like, worse. Uh, That's way worse than the Roblox face. But kind of like on the inside of my thigh. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's probably painful and like weird and yeah, ticklish. weirdly sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, where's a place you would never want to get tattooed? Mm, I don't really want any hand tats. Yeah, I, I feel like I could get away with hand tats. I think, you but could. I understand why. Or I understand like, why you face. wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, face tats are a lot. I feel like okay. I feel like I'm the genre of dude though. If I got enough tattoos, I could get a face tat, and people wouldn't look at me funny. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel I like could that's do it. True. I'm not gonna, but I feel like I could do it. Yeah, there's like um, there's like a fine line because like if you get like so many tattoos, you know, it kind of like. It, if you like from a distance if they're like a lot of them it kind of looks like you're covered in dirt all the time from a distance yeah. you know what i mean i kind of like that look though it's, it's like cool. kind of sick my thing is this is the one thing i worry about is because like i'm a bigger dude i'm like afraid to get tattoos on my like stomach and chest because like what if i like lose weight will that like fuck them up it might change them a bit i don't know how much though it would probably like shrink them i think I think like losing weight isn't as big of a change for them as like gaining weight. 
Oh, because it like would blow and, like, it, it up would, or like, whatever. Stretch it and like kind of spread the ink out more. It yeah. might, it'll probably like do something if you lose weight, but I don't. I think it's less drastic than gaining. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like realistically, like this is how like I want to go. Is like I want to like start with the sleeves and get like sh- not like sleeves, but just get shit going down my arms. Like I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not like a big tattoo piece guy. Like I like to get a bunch of little shit. Yeah, me too. You know? I'm more about that too. Yeah, but then I feel like when I when I exhaust that, then it's gonna turn into like legs a little bit nothing too crazy and then like chest and that's kind of probably where i'd realistically stop yeah um i don't ever see myself getting like a back tattoo yeah who knows i mean if you want to start like if you are worried about like the whole them changing if you lose weight and you want to get a chest one you get it like near the top of your chest yeah i was gonna think about that like somewhere like up here like collarbone type shit yeah it would hurt though but i'd be okay with it yeah yeah but like because then it would probably change less because your body doesn't deposit as much there compared to lower chest for sure yeah yeah i'm also gonna get a tattoo on my penis of a bigger penis yeah then people are gonna go like whoa (laughs) they could get fooled some like crazy optical illusion (laughs) yeah (laughs) You get like stripes going down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Longer. They're like, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like uh, uh, people who like wear black to like conceal that they have that they're they're bigger people or whatever. Yeah, like do that, <laughs> but the opposite. Yeah, I just make my penis white, whiter than it is already. <laughs> yeah, it's smart. I'm so smart. That's I'd be, like, good. The, I'd have the most ghoulish dick of them all. <laughs> Yeah. yeah dude i heard somebody the other day it was a comedian talking about the word ghoulish and i was just like i've had this literal conversation with so many people and no one thinks it's that funny the word ghoulish as me and this other person got it and they were famous and i was like yeah see some i feel so heard right what's now what's the comments about it well just like that we need to use the word more and it's like the funniest way to describe something like <laughs> describing some like if you describe me as ghoulish to someone I'd, like I would laugh, you know, so yeah, for sure. I see myself being a guy that gets a lot of tattoos. I like how it feels. Me too. I'd agree with that. I really like it as well. Yeah, it feels like uh, the best way the girl who did my tattoo was like uh, the way she described it is it tastes like not tastes like it feels like the <laughs> spiciest. Yeah, she said it feels like the spiciest. It feels like how the spiciest Sprite tastes. Uh, eh, maybe I probably on my arm and you like here. Here, that's how it felt. Anyway, I could. I guess yeah, that's probably right. When I got mine, I'd kind of describe it as like uh, someone was like, say you had like a sunburn on the spot, and like someone took like a pencil and was like scratching it. Yeah, I mean, it did kind of feel like that, too. Yeah. I also think that here probably hurts worse than here. You think so? Maybe. I don't know. It's like closer arm? like bone and shit, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe I'm wrong. I think the inside I guess I am skin wrong. is more sensitive, though. She said that like up here is like more like this didn't hurt really at all. But oh, up, really? towards the top, up towards the top, it was a little spicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess just depending where they're depending. Depends where there's more like nerve endings. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know that like feet hurt really bad like in your feet tatted oh yeah there's tons um, of nerve endings in your feet yeah yeah in them in them the tootsies the tootsies yeah so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna get done and it's just gonna be me and you that get it you know realistically that's what's realistically, gonna happen yeah for sure yeah <laughs> yeah i feel like rav would say he would do it and then wouldn't do it at the last minute you think so for sure, because he wants to be a part of the thing, and then he'll realize how fucking dumb it is at the last minute. <laughs> I think <laughs> it depends like, no. what it is. It might be something. What if we do yeah. something cool? Oh, we could do something cool. We could actually do something really cool. We could cool. just do something kind of cool. Yeah. Not too big. Award I don't want to be too expensive. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking like like almost like flash sale, like yeah. less than 100 bucks type shit. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I want it to first... be like a little scuffed what's sorry oh sorry yeah, i was just gonna say my first tattoo i got in hawaii so it was like 200 bucks for this tiny little thing oh but it was good it was fine it was a good experience it was worth it yeah this was uh Wait, maybe it was 100 bucks i don't remember it was a while ago this was like 250 that's it great what the heck that's super yeah cheap. her shading is crazy yeah because like her shading is so good 
Yeah, it's um, I'll, I'll plug her real quick. She's uh, it's Lover Ghoul Tattoos in Athens, Georgia. She was so good, and she played good music the whole time. She was like playing a whole bunch of like hardcore punk and shit. That's awesome. And yeah, it, it was like a, a really good vibe in there. She had this cute, like she had the cutest office. Like it was all like weeby anime shit, but yeah. like in the cutest like. It felt like walking into like a um. Like the best version of walking into like a like a FYE or something like that, and just be yeah. like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that would be super fun. We got to figure out what it is. Leave in the comments what you think we should get tattooed. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Let 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 our patrons decide. Yeah, plan. patrons. <laughs> oh patrons. my god, that'd be the worst. They pay money to have a, a a say in what we put in our body. Let's not do that. Let's not Let's do not. that. Give us some I ideas do not though, trust- for real. Actually, if you do have real life ideas, even if they're a little silly, I would hear them out because yeah. I want it to be a little scuffed and a little silly. That's like where my head is at, unless like something else comes up that's like, oh, this is really cool, you know? Yeah. But that's that's where my head is at. If if not, if it's not this, then I'm also gonna get a, a scuffed silly tattoo sometime on tour. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we gotta figure out where we're gonna get it done. Yeah, I, I think we should be like semi picky about where it's done. Oh yeah. For sure. We should probably like look for an artist Mm -hmm. and like schedule a date on one of our off days or something. Yeah. Any fans want to give us free tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. I got, I got hit up by a big, um, Instagram account that does like anime tattoos. Oh yeah. You're telling Um, me. Yeah. I don't want to say their name on here because like, I don't want to, if they, they were doing it to promote, but they had like a huge following and they were like, Hey, anytime you're in LA, like hit me up. Like, I'll do a free tattoo. Just shout me out. That's cool. Yeah. That was a few years ago. I mean, I don't know. They probably would still do it now, I think. But if not, I would pay for it. They were really good. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, we should do that. <laughs> Get a fan to tattoo. That's crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> they could just do whatever they wanted, realistically. Yeah. We should get a bold and brash tattoo. Mm. Which is that, you know what I'm talking about? The Squidward yeah, painting? From, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have a sticker of that on my keyboard here. I can't hear that without um, uh, thinking about the YouTube poop where it's like bold and brash, more like belongs in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every like kind of cartoon that I bring up that's from like earlier than like 2015, you're like, oh, it was YouTube poop. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry that you got I'm them in broken. there. You got a like yeah. a, you had brain rot before brain rot was a thing, my guy. <laughs> absolutely (laughs) that is like definitely we would do this thing all the time because all my friends were into them at the time like not all of them but like the good ones you know all the good youtube poops of the time that probably didn't age super well now but anytime i hear something like the other day someone said snooping around really slowly and i was like snooping (laughs) as usual i see and snooping as usual yeah 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 it's there's uh uh, there's this person that I know and she said that her, okay, she went to high school with this dude who would always like quote the like dinner, dinner, <laughs> you know, I wonder what's for dinner. Right. Yeah. And then, and then she told me that she was just like, yeah. And, uh, he also would sing sock and boppers more fun than a pillow fight all the time. The ad and for I sock and boppers. And I'm. I'm going to snitch on myself. I do both of those things. So it was you. I am that kid. It, it <laughs> basically, it could have been me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's it like subtweeting you. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. I knew this super annoying kid in high school who does all the things that you do as a 33 year old man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, sock and boppers. Did you ever have those? I did, but I got them as adults. Like, uh, oh. Yeah, we got them, um, and we would just, we got a pair of them, and I think this is, like, around when Rav was living with me in Columbia. This is like, 10 years ago. Yeah. And, like, I fucking, I, one would put one on, and the other guy would put the other one on, and we would just hit each other as hard as we can <laughs> with these sock boppers. They hurt. If you, That's like, lay so into somebody. Funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't hurt someone, but they hurt. Well, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and my friend would do something similar, but we didn't have sock and boppers. We had, mm. um... You know those big plastic water jugs you put in the water machines? Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> we had those. And they'd be <laughs> empty, right? Right. And uh, I think we called it like the water jug game. We'd take each have one. And we would jump on a trampoline in his backyard. 
and we'd have like sword fight we'd have them and we'd be like Yapa! and be like, like <laughs> it'd be like Thung! you know like Thung! and yeah, we'd just yeah. smack each other over the head with them for like an hour and it was mm-hmm. the most fun ever <laughs> yeah uh we did something a little bit more unhinged than that uh growing up yeah so you know, I lived out in the middle of the sticks and we had growing up, I lived next to my grandparents. My granddad had like a little Honda 125, like super small um, four wheeler, like ATV. Yeah. And it could, t- it topped out at like 20 miles per hour, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was driving that thing when I was like six years old. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I fucked up my hand one time really no bad. Way. And they yeah. thought my, they, they pulled my dad to the side. This is a segue, but like they, uh, or an aside, they, they, pulled my dad to the side when I did that. And they were like, like, Hey, are you hitting your son? Like they thought he was like, and then they pulled me to the side. It was just like, does he ever hit you? And I was just like, no, no. And yeah, but I could have really like fucked my dad over there. Couldn't I? Yeah. Uh, Anyway. So we bought one of the, or I had one of those. And then later on, because there was so much like farmland out there, farm, just land out there. Yeah. He bought like one of those, um, it was a gator, you know, like the oh, John Deere gators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so those things were a little slower. Like they were like maybe like 16, 17 miles per hour, like full. You were gunning it. You know, yeah. this was like the shitty ones, yeah. you know. And so but you could fit yeah. you could fit two people on it. And this is like right when we we're like super into Halo. And, and had like a little flat bed, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had a flat. So I you could exactly put someone in the back, yeah. too, if you wanted to. And uh, so, OK, <laughs> so we would take bb guns nice and we would like one person would be on the four-wheeler and then two (laughs) people would be on the gator and the gator was slower but there was like two of them and like or you could get three somebody would sit in the flatbed sometimes right yeah and we would put like those really thick carhartt jackets on Mm -hmm. and my dad he worked at um a paper mill and so he had so many safety goggles like everywhere so we put these safety goggles on and like a hat on and like uh those and we would just shoot each other with bb guns like for hours (laughs) like which kind of bb guns like the little metal ones yeah oh uh they didn't hurt though because you had the jacket on you had the jacket on but you could feel it like you'd be like oh and then you'd be hit and then you'd like then you would like so like if you're like hit, what if you got one in the cheek? Uh, you, you were fucked, I guess. <laughs> you <Yeah>. cried. <laughs> yeah, I mean like those shits are like they'll like pierce skin, you yeah. know? Like they're they're pretty bad. Nobody and ever got one in the cheek. No, or in the back no. of the neck or no, because we would like sort of aim, you know? We would just mm. you know, and uh, but it was funny because like you would see them drive, like one person would be driving and then they just hold the fucking BB gun in the other hand and they would like, it's like Fortnite when you don't have someone else to like shoot, you just like, <laughs> like would yeah. do this, yeah. you know? And uh, yeah, so we did that and uh, yeah, we would just shoot each other and there was like <laughs> no like rhyme or reason to it, be like, oh, gotcha. And then you just get right back on and then keep going. You know yeah. what I mean? And we did we, like similar yeah. stuff. But we didn't mm-hmm. use BB guns. We used airsoft guns, like from Canadian Tire. Yeah. Which is basically, I don't know what's the equivalent to Canadian Tire. Menards? I don't, I don't know, know what Menards is, yeah. but I can, I can, uh, I can guess what basically that is. Basically, like, yeah. they just have, like, camping slash car yeah. stuff slash just, like, hardware stuff. Manly like shit. Yeah. Like yeah. Lowe's, but with more, like, outdoors and gear and hunting gear That's and sports fun. gear. That sounds fun, yeah. Uh, But, yeah, so <laughs> we get, like, those. And we, 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 me and my friends would dirt bike. We had like little, uh, like Honda dirt bikes. Hell yeah. And we would drive around, uh, his parents had like a little cottage cause like cottages were pretty common in Ontario cause there's so many lakes and we would go around and like, there was this, uh, sand quarry near the rec- super dangerous. We should not have been doing this. Yeah. <laughs> like I would not go back there today. But mm. we played in a lot of quarries growing up, and it's <laughs> such a bad idea. Yeah. But anyways, we would go there, and we'd dirt bike around them, and we'd have, like, you know, airsoft guns sometimes and shoot those um, and just rip around in this quarry. You know, same idea. <laughs> um, yeah. One time, actually, my friend, we had, like, you know, the GoPro Hero 3, the, like, with the older yeah, ones? Like yeah, the yeah, third yeah, GoPro. Yeah. yeah. Um, Classic. Yeah. So I was on my dirt bike. My friend was on his dirt bike, and his older brother was on they had like a bigger ATV mm. that they would use to kind of tow their, they had like a ski do they used mm. and they would like put, use that to put it in the water. And they were, we were going around here, right? 
in the sand quarry and so his older brother's on the atv with his girlfriend and they're doing like a donut and we have this on video and they they ripped around they did it and it started tipping it's a big atv it's not like one of the smaller ones it's like one of the big utility ones with like a tow winch in the front yeah and it just like went <laughs> and threw them off of it oh, and we got it on uh... yeah and they were I, I think it kind of like she hurt her foot a little bit and but they were okay and my friend looks at me and said do not tell my parents oh we got it on video though and we kept yeah. the video and we never told them that's so fucking funny it's so uh, funny that kind of stuff like one time we were like he was on the atv my friend and i was dirt biking behind him and he had stopped but i was looking over to the side because i was looking at like the forest for some reason i don't know yeah yeah and i didn't notice and i just went right into the back of the atv oh man i like barely had time to break and and i smashed my okay i was wearing you know i was wearing my helmet and stuff so like i just like smashed the jaw of the dirt biking helmet you know because it goes like this against Mm. the like the back fender of the had like a cow catcher thing on the back yeah and i smashed it against there my friend was like whoa that was crazy and i'm like oh that was crazy i was fine you know like i was totally fine like i barely actually felt it and it wasn't like even like adrenaline but like it was like if i wasn't wearing a helmet i would have broken my jaw i would have yeah wrecked my jaw (laughs) yeah dude that sucks i had a i had a moment that was okay okay this is kind of funny so my friend we would do when i was playing football we would do two a days in august which is like you know for people who don't know that means you practice twice a day so you go there and then you leave and you come back and during that time period my friend he lived like 45 minutes away from the school and we lived like 10 minutes away from the school and so my friend was like hey my parents want to know would it be okay if i like stay with you guys for like two or three weeks and uh then you just take me to practice and they were like a family friend and so we're like yeah cool fuck it why not and so me and this dude got like super tight from this right like just hanging out every day and like we were always like really into like the same shit and stuff where i was like right when i first started making beats and uh so like we got out and i was like let me do i used to just like do laps around like the property out there on that little 125 (laughs) um uh, four wheeler yeah. and i would gun it because it would top out at 20 and so i'm like oh it's like 20 miles per hour like, who gives a fuck you know yeah. what i mean and so this is like a few years after my grandma had a stroke right and so my grandma had a wheelchair that was like a motorized wheelchair and she didn't use it very often because it was like hard to get her she was completely paralyzed on one side oh. so it was like hard to get her and they got it i think through insurance but it was like they didn't really use it that much unless they went somewhere, Yeah, you know? And we noticed that it went very slow. And so we said something to them about it. Like, we were all, like, walking really slow. It was like, hey, can we, like, up the speed on this thing? And a guy came, and he basically, like, jailbroke this fucking chair, okay? And he was like, yeah, what you do to increase the speed is this, 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 and this. And for some reason, he told me, like, a 14-year-old this. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. Like, I guess because I was, it was like my granddad there and he's not going to know how to oh, do yeah, it. Oh, so yeah. And I'm you like, were like the one who know, would remember it and I be guess. able to do it. So that thing could fucking fly, dude. <laughs> uh, and you could go like 10, 15 miles per hour on this thing. That's so right? fast. And like, and it's so like, why is this a capable thing? Yeah. Right. So we would turn it up. And I'm just doing laps. We would do laps, and then he would just be bored waiting to get on the next one, right? And so he was like, fuck it. I'm going to just grab this wheelchair and just, like, roll around, right? Yeah. And so he rolls down the ramp, same ramp where I broke my leg. And uh, he's, like, just in it. And, like, one thing you could do is, like, hold it to the side, and it would just, like, spin indefinitely. But, like, he would just sit there and, like, spin as fast as humanly possible <laughs> until he was about to throw up, Like, right? ripping donuts and stuff? Yeah, for sure. That's right? crazy. Okay. In a yeah. wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, uh, but it was, like, stationary. It wasn't like a donut. It would just, like, turn. Like, yeah. like you know, but it'd be, like, it'd be, like, <laughs> like really fast right it was dangerous too because it would like it was a heavy it was, chair and it yeah. would like kind of like sway like it was very top yeah heavy. yeah and so like uh, in retrospect this is actually the most dangerous part of this whole thing right so as i'm doing a a loop around the corner 
like we had horses like and there was a oh cool not like a barbed wire fence but like a like a chicken wire fence yeah that would just keep them out and it was very flimsy and it had like just wood posts right i look over at him and see him doing these fucking donuts in the distance right (laughs) and i think that shit is so funny that i don't pay attention and i look up and I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't turn enough. And I'm going like 20 miles per hour, like <laughs> straight into this fence where there's a horse right behind it. Oh, man. Okay? And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm going to fuck. I like I like life flash before my eyes moment where I'm like, I'm about to like murder this horse. Okay? <laughs> uh, and so like I slam on brakes and it I hit the the chicken wire and luckily the chicken wire didn't like actually like split somehow it was like it was kind of like rusted too yeah and so i hit it and i just go boom like super hard and then i kind of land on the post a little bit like with the side of the thing i'm okay i got like cut really bad i had to like get like like i, I had my tetanus shot and stuff but mm. it was like i got cut by a rusty fucking yeah, <laughs> like yeah. piece of chicken wire the horse like i'd never seen this horse his name was trigger okay yeah and i'd never seen him move ever he was like su- he was like eeyore or something right <laughs> he saw that shit and was like and just like went back like four feet like you know you freaked him out and, okay and the funniest part about this is i hit it and then like i'm looking down i see like i was wearing shorts and i saw like blood immediately and i was like oh fuck fuck but then i realized it wasn't like a deep cut yeah and so i i get up and i hear my friend and he just goes he goes i'm coming billy and just like <laughs> floors it okay <laughs> <laughs> like on this thing and there's like there's like a whole it's the the lawn is like there's ant hills it's there's super like bumpy. fucking yeah he's just like <laughs> like in this thing trying to get to me Bro, <laughs> <laughs> and he gets to me and he's just like are you good and i was like yeah i think so and he's just so like like, oh. like sitting and he just goes like, like are you good yeah <laughs> yeah like, he could, <laughs> did not stand up a single time and he's like okay good and then just turns around and then proceeds to just like so, bump all the way back your professor yeah. x there you go yeah, yeah. yeah dude just, are you yeah. good bill okay yeah. bye yeah, bro is the <laughs> bro is the professor x of walterboro That's south carolina so for sure funny <laughs> yeah, uh, just visualizing that, shit was that wild. is hilarious. That shit was wild. It was so funny. Yeah, um, another thing that happened similarly after, and this is like less of a funny story, but it's, it's like a core memory for me. I'm like chilling there. We, my parents were like not home, and yeah. so he plugged my Xbox into like the big family TV and like nice. jammed the 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 uh, the audio all the way up to the volume was like a hundred. <laughs> and it sounded so shitty. And we were like <laughs> listening to like Chevelle on this thing. Like 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 butt rock ass music That's so on this funny. thing. Just like clipping like, really bad. Yeah. And so then like he was like, Hey man, let's make some soup. Cause we had like Campbell's soup and we were like, fuck it, like we were hungry. Soup and so, time. Yeah, so we're making soup and he was like, Hey, let's spice this thing up a little bit. And he opens up like a thing of red, like chili, fl- chili flakes. I call them hot shakes because of square. And so he's <laughs> like, so he's like, oh, let's put these in there. And he like dumps the entire thing in by accident. Nice. And we had to like fish them out and it made this soup like completely inedible. And we still <laughs> ate it. Like we were like, fuck it. Well, uh, we were like sitting there like crying. Like that's so crazy. funny. Is this the same? That friend? all happened in one day. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. I didn't tell my mom about me hitting the fence either yeah. until like way later. Like yeah. afterwards, it was like a few like a like a few days later, and I told her about it. And my uncle was there, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, fences just jump out in front of you all the time, you know." I was yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, okay <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. I have like a kind of something like that where it was like an inciting incident to when we stopped dirt biking in quarries. Yeah. So. What we would do is we would, you know, we'd be ripping around. They're like basically these big hills of sand, right? And there's this one spot we'd go through every time. We'd go up and then we'd go down the other side and it was super fun. This one day, the last time we went, my friend went up and then he went over. And I thought, hmm, it like I thought it evened out for like a second longer than that at the top. That was weird because he just kind of mm. went up and it looked like he went right down afterwards because usually it was like up and then a little right. flat and then down. 
And I was like, huh, that was weird. And then <laughs> I bike up, but I go, I was like, I went a bit slower because I was, mm. uh, I think I was like a gear too high. So I did, like was going up. I was should have been in second gear. Was in third gear, something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I crest the top like a bit to the left of where he went, and where right. I went, it went up, and this the sand dune just went like it flattened out right how it usually did. To the right, about two feet where he went over, it went up, and I guess they'd excavated out that sand hill, and it just went like this, twenty oh, feet, fuck. twenty feet down. Did he fall? Yes. He, he went up and he just went bah! right down. Luckily, there was like kind of a soup, like a little bit of a pillow of, fan, of sand. Yeah. And in midair, because I come up, I look down and I see his dirt bike laying on its side, 20 Ooh. feet down. Jesus. And he's standing next to it. And he was like trying to yell at me to be like, don't come up here. <laughs> I was so <laughs> lucky. I was two feet to the left because I would have landed crazy. on him with my dirt have, bike. And have you thought about? Oh, go sorry, sorry. I was I gonna say sorry. Uh, and he he managed to like get off the bike while he was in the air, but like the the metal like footrest thing kind of like cut his knee open, mm. and I think he ended up getting stitches on it. But like <laughs> we went back, and our parents were like down kind of by the water, and they heard us come back. And we didn't come down to the water right away. We went inside. And we're like, we got to clean it. We got to clean it. Because we were both kind of like, we were probably about 14, 15 at the time. Yeah. And yeah. we both had like, we were we were doing a lot of like um, wilderness survival stuff. So we all had like, mm. we had like our first aid. So we right. were like going, we we're like panicking, trying to clean this. It was like pretty big. <laughs> like it was like this big and it, like this wide, just like on his knee. And it was like kind of deep. So we're just like trying to clean it really quietly. Right. And we put like a big like gauze bandage over it. We're like, man i think we gotta tell him this isn't this isn't stopping bleeding bro yeah yeah <laughs> there's a time where you gotta like make that decision yeah because we were like hey yeah. we'll clean it up and we won't tell him it happened the worst thing about like his bike was fine except for like the handlebar was just like a tiny bit bent we're like we just bend that with a stick later it's fine <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah. we're just like oh, i so think funny. we gotta tell him what happened this isn't this is a pretty deep man <laughs> yeah yeah and was he was like, like oh they're gonna kill me <laughs> Yeah, bro is losing blood. Yeah. Meanwhile, y'all are like, oh, should we tell mom and dad? Like, yeah, it was that shit. exact thing. That's so funny, dude. Have you thought about all the times you've like almost died in your life? Yeah, there's been a few. Yeah, <laughs> Most of them at like, quarries. <laughs> me, my, me and the yeah, same friend went to. I try to avoid quarries. I most do now. Of the time. Yeah. Cause yeah. <laughs> we went, we would like purposefully like make it so that the workers there would kind of see us. And then they'd be like, hey, you gotta leave. And then we'd run away <laughs> and like run away, get that little adrenaline rush of getting caught. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Something happened to me where it was like, I think it was like at a baseball game when I was a like uh, in high school or like maybe a little younger. Uh, we would go to those River Dogs games all the time in Charleston, which is like minor league baseball stuff. Yeah. And like one day I saw like, you know, like they have like the fly ball and then you try to catch it or whatever. Yeah. Like one day, like while I was just like sitting there in my seat, like one just like I wasn't really paying attention. Like I was like talking to someone yeah. and one just like flew like inches by my head. Ooh. And I was like, if it would have hit my head, like and I I looked over and I looked at the person and I was just like nonchalantly like, yeah, I almost died. <laughs> and that's they were insane. like, yeah, that's crazy. And I was just Bro. like, yeah, if I was like this. Or if I just like looked this way, Bro. I would have like Donald, it could have like Donald altered the Trump. trajectory. Yeah, exactly. Well, you could take <laughs> my ear. Yeah, that's in, that's actually insane. Yeah, yeah uh, I know a dude who got he played baseball and he was a pitcher and somebody he like threw the ball and then it hit it and it went like straight into his eye and like oh, fucked up his eye real bad. That's like bad. he was he was like legally blind in one eye like he could it was weird too if you looked at him his pupil was always way smaller in that eye than the other oh because it just like wasn't working anymore it kind of looked cool <laughs> like to, i'm gonna be small real price i remember to pay for epic yeah yeah he was just like yeah I, i'm not so good at driving but yeah he was a um he was like a older like he was like one of my mom's friends oh yeah yeah yeah, that's and he was just crazy. Like, yeah. That sucks. I, yeah, he made his like peace with it, I guess, at that point. Yeah, but, yeah, he couldn't play baseball anymore after Aww. that. Ah, yeah. yeah, I had like there was multiple occasions where like that specific friend 
something happened to him and then it almost happened to me but didn't because he was like a little bit in front of me <laughs> like because yep. i think i developed that kind of like i'm mortal feeling a little bit before him <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean so like yeah. we would do that like this whole area near his cottage i was there like all summer every summer right we were right. like my best friend growing up mm. and <laughs> we do this thing we were obsessed with lord of the rings so this forest was very lush, you know, it was very humid because we're in Ontario. Mm. And there's these little ferns everywhere, right? You know, like, like just, you know, just full of the yeah. forest. It's all just ferns everywhere. And in our, our little pretend game we would play when we were a bit younger, uh, probably like 10, was the ferns were orcs and we were like Aragon and we had oh my sticks. God. And we, but would, we like, would have been s such good friends yeah. growing up. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, and we we would like swing and we would like smack the ferns down and be like, oh, got them. And we'd like jump down from like a rock into like a center of a bunch of them and be like, we're surrounded. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like smack them down. My friend was doing it once and like he was a little bit ahead of me and he, he was swinging and he stepped forward and he just like disappeared in front of me and i was yeah. like and i was Fuck. just like <laughs> there he goes you, paul where'd you go and i walk up and it's, it's just like a little cliff it's probably about 10 feet and he was just like at the bottom just being like huh i think i just fell off a cliff and i was like yeah <laughs> you good and he's like yeah i'm okay and we just kept going jesus <laughs> just jesus. that kind of stuff how old were you again like probably like 10 to 12 you know that's so this, this is a the, remember when i yeah. told you like the cutting down trees for fun era i went through mm -hmm. that was like that era same spot okay, same cool. friend <laughs> yeah yeah i uh i had a bunch of friends who did dumb shit all the time but it would never end up like because i guess oh, where i'm from it's like all flat yeah um you know and so it was like like nothing like that but it was always like people like coming in close calls with like alligators oh freaky or, or yeah, uh, like we used to do this thing. I say we used to do this thing. Two of my friends in my friend group in high school used to do this thing where they would like we would all go out and like hang out by this fire pit. It was like an old like like a sugar mill, like a, like a sugar cane mill. Yeah. Drum that uh, you we would set shit on fire in right and so we're <laughs> yeah. sitting there and yep. enjoying our fire enjoying our fire right and uh, i think like we might have been drinking or something around mm -hmm. this time and so like they were like hey they were both really they wanted to be in the military really bad they were super big that one of them ended up being in the military mm -hmm. and he was a super big like war tactics guy like that was his <laughs> his tism okay yeah and he would do this thing he'd be like he would look at my other friend and be like, hey, dude, you want to go on a mission? <laughs> and he'd be like, yeah, dude, let's do it. And they would dress in all black. And he had like a ghillie suit. Awesome. And they would just like hide in the woods. I had the, these trees planted in rows. Bro, we used They're to like do that pine too. Trees. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they would hide in these woods. But it's in fucking South Carolina. So it's like mosquito infested. There's snakes. There's like fucking uh coyotes like all this other shit yeah you know what our I mean? environment wasn't as hostile as yours i think yeah, Ours was just yeah. like oh there's mosquitoes and a garter snake <laughs> yeah and so like i remember at one point he he was like he, like we're sitting there and he would do that they would just like wait in the woods and then we would like be doing stuff and they would like try to scare us basically right most of the time they would fail really bad but after they got the ghillie suits because they were both like super into that shit they were like oh let's get ghillie suits you know so they get these ghillie suits and you cannot see them at all like <laughs> yeah. they're completely like just it's straw and shrubs and it's just like they and they move and stuff but shit moves in the woods all the time so it's kind of yeah. you hear stuff they're There's like invisible, deer out basically. there yeah so it's like they're just like whatever and i remember like they would do this thing where they would wait for us and we would like go on like these long walks and it was like we were kind of like waiting for them to do that it was like we're in on it, you yeah. know? And one time we're just walking and there was a girl behind me. Her name was Jenny. And Jenny, like, uh, she was like a very, like all the bad things happened to her. She was just unlucky oh, all the time. Yeah. And as we're walking, she just like sh shrieks like as loud as one can. 
right? And I was like, oh my god, are you okay? I thought she stepped on a snake or something. Yeah. You know, I look down and I see like his hand like grabbing her foot, <laughs> like, <laughs> like just like shaking like this. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, and I was just like, I was like, release her, and then like he let go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then like later that night they go to do it again, <laughs> and then like we don't hear from them. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? What happened? You know? And so I'm texting them and then they would do this thing. Like they would like respond in code. Like, like they would just be like alpha Charlie Delta. <laughs> like just like guys? bullshit. That's so we funny. We were like 16. That's like we so were just like, funny, yeah, dude. it was all like a bit, you know, we were like, alpha yeah. Charlie Delta, but it wouldn't spell anything. It would just be like bullshit. Yeah. You know? And I'm just like, okay, whatever. And then, so like, I was like, okay, dude. And then I'm texting them and they're not texting me back. And I'm like, are they good? You know what I mean? Mm. I go inside and like, we're just like, fuck it. We're going inside. You're right. They don't come in for like an hour. Right. Yeah. Apparently, like one of their phones died, or their both of their phones died, or something, and they were like waiting for us to walk, and they just didn't. <laughs> and so they come in, and they're like all disheveled and shit, right? <laughs> and like, uh, he's just like, and one of them's just like, like black touches yellow, murders a fellow, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know, why are they just saying shit like this? And I'm like, they're like, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, red touches black. Good luck for Jack or some bullshit. And I'm just like, what are you talking <laughs> about? And apparently, I don't remember what it is, but it's like, like they have like, there's two kinds of snakes, and like one of them is like a milk snake, and the mm-hmm. other one's like a an actual venomous snake yeah. that can kill you, right? And it's they look the same, but it's like different variants of the colors yeah right so it's like if i don't remember what the whole thing is but it's like if it's like red touches black then it's fine but if it's like red touches yellow then it's bad mm. like and so they're like look at and like and i'm like dude did one of you guys get bit by a snake or some shit and they were like no but we almost did and they were like i'm pretty sure it was that one that would and it was like we don't get milk snakes. Like it's the only snake that we get that does that. Like yeah. it's the kind that kills you, yeah. you know? And they were like, yeah, dude, like I had to like reflex my way out of getting bit by this snake. And yeah, like they almost died. Yeah. That's playing crazy. Missions. My yeah. And mission, so we never did that. No more. Mission. Yeah. That's that shit crazy. was so funny though. The whole thing was so good. <laughs> oh man. I miss those days. Man. That was fun. Yeah. That kind of stuff was always like, super fun me and my friends used to do like missions and stuff like that yeah but yeah so bill how about you tell us tell them about what's happening on the patreon you know what you know what i, I want i would really like it Don't if you would do it and the reason this. why is i always do it and i always like my brain shuts off halfway through because i get nervous about it let's do it together how okay. about this how about this three two okay I, I'll do this. I'll say a word, then you say a word, and we just keep doing it back and forth. Great. And we're gonna this always works great every time we yeah. do it, which we do it a lot. Uh huh. Uh, okay. On the Patreon, we have penis. Fuck, dude. You I messed it up. up. I'm Take sorry. Take it serious. Okay. Take it serious. I'm taking it Take seriously. It okay. On the Patreon, we have lots of. Extra bonus boners and save it episodes, maybe even one or two other things that you might find interesting to consume anally. Okay, wait. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, we've got we've got an extra bonus episode for every episode we have on here. So if there's an episode that comes out today on the Patreon at the same time, we release another episode. That's for the five dollar tiers. So that's double the content, just five more of the bucks. Isn't that fucking crazy? You know what else? We got other shit too. Sometimes we post pictures. Sometimes we post whole little fucking B sides mixtapes. Yeah, tell them about that. Yeah, we posted a Snow Globe Theory, all the B-sides, beats, and some of the demos from that time period for Snow Globe Theory. We posted that for the $5 patrons. You can listen to it there. You can download it. You can show it to your friends. You can upload it to your favorite peer-to-peer file sharing site. You can do a lot of stuff, <laughs> okay? You can do whatever you want with it. You could, you, could, you could put it on while you bathe. I don't know. So you can do that, okay? 
However, there's more. There's even more. There's even more. For 20 U.S. dollars, count them, 20 U.S. dollars, you could have your name in the beginning of the episode when it starts and says, it's our patrons, that's you. Thank you for our patrons, that's you, you're the patron. You'll have your little stinky little name up there. Yeah, but that's not all. That's not all. We got something else. Bi-weekly, that's twice a month, not twice a week. I had to look that up. We do. <laughs> I like how you say that every time. <laughs> I know, but it's like I need to clarify for people like me that are kind of not all there. Bi-weekly, anyway, every second week. Yeah, every second week, we do a Q&A advice segment. And then what? you will be featured on the Patreon episode, the bonus no episode. And you can ask us stuff. You'll be like, hey, man, like, my fucking car sucks. What do I do? And then, I get? and then Mitch swings in and is like, hey, man, you considered a Nissan Cube? Because <laughs> I You wouldn't. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but basically, go over to the Patreon, voidfm.net. Links are in the description, all that stuff. Also, while I got y'all here... Me and Rav are going on tour, and subsequently Mitch as well. I'll be there, too. We're going on tour. That's right. Keep the Change tour. We're going to have Square. We have uh, um, No One Important, both of them doing a set together as and more, which they haven't done since, like, 2022 or something like that. Also in select cities, we're going to have Melty Cannon, Love Sad Kid, and Dom. Uh, and then me and Rav up there. Mitch will be there. My manager, Allie, will be, be there. The whole gang. Whole gang's going to be there. Also, we got VIP tickets where they've got Q&A sessions where you can, like, talk with us uh, 30 minutes before. You get first access to the merch. You also get a cool banging ass keychain that's really cool and you haven't seen it yet but it's neat and then also it comes with a signed polaroid that is one of a kind signed by both me and rav and you know what else you get to rap words at us while we <laughs> rap back at you or maybe i think it's the other ways around we say it at the same time hopefully if you know the words we say it together and it's a real cool moment one of my favorite things about doing this i'm excited keep the change tour.com voidfm.net mitch take us home <laughs> bye the following is a preview of this week's patreon exclusive episode available now over on the void fm podcast patreon all right yeah bill's playing pokemon showdown as we wait for people to join Cobb, get your butt in here. Sorry for cursing. Right. I am kind of like a producer for fun, and I just don't feel like things are that interesting yet for me to be like, okay, this sample slaps. I'm like a big YouTube guy. I'll like just find random shit and make beats out of it. Yeah, yeah I think uh, every time we've met in person, you've shown me the Canadian money you've been holding. <laughs>